This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favourite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Today I wanted to break down what I think sticks out to me is one of Eric Johnson's most beautiful chord passages, um, but it's actually quite a simple part, which is not usual for, for Eric. You know, oftentimes he's playing these um, expensive chords that are really difficult to finger and stuff like that. Now, um, Patreon will be the place to, to grab the backing track that you just heard me playing over and also I'll tab out this little bit, but I think you should be able to work it out from the video. Anyway, it's from the tune All About You, and it's this little part that happens, you know, about two minutes, 15 in, or something like that. And I think there's a few ways you could play this. I'm gonna have a guess for how I think he's playing it, because I can't find any videos of him playing it live. I think we're gonna start up here on the 11th fret, and then, the basis of this idea is sixth intervals or sixth, sixth dyads, however you want to call it, you know, like that. And if you want to get, this is a really good exercise actually, to be fair. Um, so if you were to take your major scale and harmonize it in sixths, this would be really good practice. because it has a, a really nice consonant sound to it. So I think we're starting at the 11th fret. And we fall then down to our dyad on the 11th fret. And then back up to our 12th fret, 11th fret. And then we get to our 13th fret. And what I think is happening here is that he then stacks the next uh, six on top of that. So you get where you're playing both of these dyads together uh, so 13 and 13 and then 10 so you get like that right and uh, I'm picking and using my middle finger like that so Once we get down to this 12th and 11th fret, I think we need to slide up from our 6th, 8th fret here. Uh, something like that. But what I think I want to do is outside of this, is fall down to this kind of shape. because we need to hit that chord at the end. So I'm thinking... So 
So that's the only really difficult part. Um, so that's our first half. And uh, there may be And then we from there rise back up from the eighth to the tenth. And we're gonna do a similar kind of thing here. So from the 12th and the 11th to the 13th and back up to this stacked on the 10th. So and then we're going to do this stacked idea but up again. So we're going to start on the 12th and 11th fret. So from the 12th and 11th fret and you can sort of hold the 11th, but not the 12. So you get that kind of thing. So 12, 11, 15, 13. So down. That sort of thing. Then this one again. So 10 and 10. 13, 13, that thing. And then from there, so, I think we go on our 10th fret, tenth fret and hammer on our 11th, and then back down in six, 13 to 12 and 11. and settle then on the 10th fret. So all together, I think we get which is not quite as simple as it looks but for Eric Johnson, it's kind of simple. So just one more time. You could do that like that. We could do that as well. There are other ways to play that if you get, you could obviously have your six on here, but I think that stacking part is an important part. So give that a try. That's from the tune All About You, which is beautiful. and it's in B flat. Give that a try, that's a beautiful use, I think, of the stat. And really really cool sound so get that concept under your fingers catch you in another video soon if you've got other eric johnson type breakdowns that you want to see me try and tackle i'll be happy to do so leave a comment below leave a comment any way to help the algorithm i guess it'd be cool um let me know how you get on with that